What's going on everyone? Welcome to Tim Reviews Everything. Guys, if you're not subscribed to the channel yet, if you could do that, hit the notification bell so you know when I post videos. Leave comments down below. And if you guys could give me a thumbs up, I'd really appreciate it. It's been a little while since I uh, posted. It's been, bit, it's been getting nice outside, so I've been busy outside. I uh, had some trees cut down, you know, just grass cutting, you know, just all that stuff. Uh, today it actually snowed. Uh, but, you know, I've just been busy, so I figured this would be a good day to uh, review something that I just uh, got recently. Uh, so I've been using the crap out of this thing. This is the Gorilla Long Cart. I got this at Lowe's for $49.95, and I am loving this thing. Okay, so I was debating on this or this one. Okay, this one's just a little bit more pricier, uh, and it can handle more weight, and it's a little bit bigger of a cart. Uh, the one I got, which is this one, this was five cubic feet, the other one's seven cubic feet. Mine handles 300 pounds of weight, the other one handles 600 pounds of weight. Uh, I do have a wheelbarrow, the, the rim was bent in it, but I always wanted to get one of these. Just easier to handle, you know, don't have to worry about the, pulling out the wheelbarrow, this isn't gonna rust, you know, it's a nice hard plastic. And the stuff that I use it for, this is just gonna be more convenient. Uh, mulch, grass clippings, topsoil, uh, moving the logs that I, I have my trees cut down, you know, and I'm hauling it about 40 yards across the uh, yard, uh, you know, so stuff to that nature. Uh, and I'm on a slight hillside and this thing has been handling just fine. Some of the bad reviews on this thing are saying the wheels are popping off, but they're also saying they're loading this thing up with dirt. Uh, this is five cubic feet and if you fill it up past the uh, top of it, Guys, I have a feeling you're going to be over 300 pounds, so you, or you're going to be pushing those 300 pounds, and, and you're really putting a lot of pressure on those wheels. Uh, yes, but if you're doing basic light lawn work, you know, broken sticks that fall off the trees, you know, stuff to that nature, or like me, I'll be doing the broken sticks, the lawn clippings, topsoil, mulch, and I'll be hauling the logs back across the yard because I'm going to be building a fire pit. So whenever we go to use the wood for the fire pit, I could use this to, you know, to haul over what we're going to be using for that night. So it's going to be a great little lawn cart to have around the house. Uh, but like I said, guys, if you're short, this one's a little bit lower to the ground, so you're not going to have any problem using this cart. Uh, it does tip over uh, if you're not on a uh, flat surface. It doesn't have the stability like the bigger long cart does, so you want to make sure you're uh, you know, on pretty flat of a surface. Uh, but if you're putting mulch and stuff in there, I, th I really think that this thing is not going to tip over that easy. But when you're putting logs in like I have been doing, if you put the log in and it rolls off to the one side, this long cart does tip over. So you just got to be careful on how you're loading it. But once it's loaded, I'm good. I mean, I, I, it fits a couple logs in there. And as you can see in this picture right here, I am standing behind. I still got some stuff to move. But I'm standing behind where I started from. And if you look all the way in the back of the picture there, you can see where I'm stacking my wood up. And I moved a lot of stuff. All behind there is all the smaller branches. And then over to the left of that log pile is the smaller or the thicker branches that I'm trying to, you know, just I'm trying to organize my firewood. Uh, so when we do build our fire uh, pit that we have plenty of wood to not worry about it. Uh, but guys, hours upon hours upon hours of hauling this. And then I stopped and I used my lawn cart to uh, pick up a bunch of broken sticks uh, that, you know, before I cut grass and stuff to that nature. So light lawn work. This Gorilla cart is really going to be nice to uh, use. Heavy lawn work. I would recommend going to the, the more expensive one and the one that has the metal uh, you know, supports going around the bottom of it and bigger wheels, you know. And that's another thing that's nice with the long cart, guys, is, you know, there's no air in the wheel. So, you know, you don't have to worry about your wheels going flat like a wheelbarrow. Uh, you know, they, they, I swear they go flat all the time. So great little cart, Lowe's, $49.95. And uh, yeah, guys, I mean, it's, I, I'm thoroughly enjoying this thing. It's very convenient. It even stands upright. So when you go to dump it, you know, you have mulch in there, you could dump some out and you could just, you know, scrape some out and then flip it back up. You don't have to dump the whole thing out. It stands upright once you flip it up on its end. So, yeah, great little long cart, guys. Uh, short review today. Uh, I thank everybody that has been uh, supporting this channel. My other channel is no longer going to happen anymore, Step on Finance. I just not have been getting the traffic over there. I put way too much time and effort and planning into those uh, financial videos to get 30, 40 views. So I am hanging that one up and hopefully this one continues to grow. If this one continues to grow, I will keep going with it. So I really appreciate the support guys and I will see you next time. I hope everyone has a good day.